We all know that Zimbabwe has waged its share of struggles, faced its share of challenges, and undergone a great deal of setbacks and pressures. It has been inspiring to witness the resilience and fortitude of the Zimbabwean nation and the people who, though not the authors of their country's tribulations, they have refused to be victims of it and did not give up. They did not slow down or lament in despair. Instead, they endured and forged on with a confident patience over people who have prevailed against formidable adversaries and won daunting battles time and time again. Under your leadership, Mr. President, it is evident that this indomitable spirit has received a shot in the arm. This explains the positive changes that are taking place in many parts of the country and demonstrates Zimbabwe's readiness to transform its abundant potential into opportunities for all sectors of its economy to make their contribution towards poverty reduction, employment creation, wealth generation, and reduction of inequality, thereby ushering in economic development and inclusive prosperity. The third intervention which confirms Zimbabwe's commitment to economic recovery and transformation is its government's decision to introduce a new currency, the ZIG, which is backed by gold and other asset reserves. This radical revitalization of Zimbabwe's monetary policy will contribute greatly to the country's economic resurgence. Taken together, these bold decisions by the government of Zimbabwe constitute a bold and radical economic recovery, revitalization, and reform agenda based on a coherent, ambitious vision to steer the nation to prosperity and sustainability in a context where you have daunting challenges. This is courageous brave and, Mr. President, visionary. On the basis of these facts, I am strongly persuaded that Zimbabwe's commitment to transform its immense potential into sustainable abundance is robust and driven by irrevocable intentionality. I am also convinced that this intentionality is closely connected with the vision and the theme of the Zimbabwe International Trade Fair. You will agree with me, ladies and gentlemen, that in the case of a country endowed with such excellent human capital and natural resource potential as Zimbabwe, whose government is committed to sustaining investment in infrastructural connectivity and is inspired by a bold, coherent vision of national economic transformation, the sky is surely the limit if it pursues innovation as a catalyst of industrialization and trade. Innovation will enable every sector of our economies to harness the power of automation and robotics, as well as digitization, artificial intelligence, and machine learning which are revolutionizing productivity and redefining the future of work every minute, in every space, at all times. Additionally, innovation will simplify transactions, enhance financial inclusion, generate fintech, and promote e-commerce. This way, innovation will introduce our economies to the possibilities of the digital economy, increase intra-Africa trade, and accelerate 
regional integration because with innovation, barriers become bridges, borders transform into portals, and challenges turn into opportunities. There is no doubt that the Zimbabwe International Trade Fair represents this country's preparedness to usher in a new era of development driven by the country's human and natural resources. Equally, equally certain is that the theme of this year's fair is a bold signal of Zimbabwe's resolve to deploy technology and innovation to exponentially transform its potential into shared abundance for all its people. 